As someone who shoots and edits more than 100 videos a year for this channel and also our family's personal vlog channel, I get asked all the time about which software tools I use to create the videos. Now, I personally gravitate towards the more professional tools, but that can get really expensive over time, and also, they're not the easiest to use. So, my recommendations for the casual users have always included the various versions of Filmora from Wondershare. So, when they actually reached out and said they wanted to do a sponsored video with me to show how easy the latest version of Filmora, Filmora 10, is to use, I thought it was a perfect opportunity for me to get caught up on the software, but also show you how great the software really is for the casual user. Like a lot of the bigger competitors out there, Filmora 10 does have advanced video editing options like motion tracking, keyframing, customizable shortcut keys, which I find extremely helpful, and also a brand new color matching option that uses artificial intelligence. So let's jump into Filmora 10 to see if it has all the tools that I need on a regular basis for my workflow while keeping things simple, but most importantly, doing it on the cheap. After installing the software, the first thing that we'll want to do is create a new project for the video that we're going to be editing. Part of this starts with dumping all of your video clips and photos that you're going to be using for the video into a dedicated folder just to keep things organized. And then once we've got that all set, we're going to jump into Filmora and click on File right at the top and click New Project. It looks like they keep things pretty simple with a handful of easy aspect ratios for you to choose from. I'll be going with 16 by 9 since that's the aspect ratio that all of my video clips are recorded in. Then let's click on the import media button right here in the middle and then navigate over to the folder that we put all of our video files in and select the ones that we want to import. And this here is pretty neat. It will automatically prompt you to create proxy files for the video clips that you bring into Filmora 10. If you're not familiar with proxy files, they're a lower resolution file that are used while editing your video so that your computer doesn't get bogged down with having dozens of 4K video files to work with and really slow things down if you're applying different video effects during the editing process. So I'm gonna go ahead and click yes and then we'll wait for these video clips to import. Okay, so it looks like we have pretty much all the basics that we need here. We have all of the media right up top. Below that is the video timeline. It's only showing a single layer for video and another one for audio. But if I drag multiple videos down here, you should be able to stack them on top of each other. Yep, just like that. Let's poke around here to see what else we have. On the audio tab right up the top, we have quick access to background music and it looks like sound effects as well so that you don't have to go out and look for your own audio files. And then the titles tab takes you to the usual selection of titles and lower thirds graphics. I recommend sticking with somewhat, something plain, which is typically what I do, but there's really something for everyone here. And then we have transitions, and it looks like we have a lot of options here as well, which is kind of nice. It looks like the effects tab has some nice preset filters you can apply to your media to give them a certain look. And of course, like everything else these days, they are AR stickers that you can apply in order to put them on top of people's faces. Elements looks to be a mixture of static and animated graphics that you can use as well. And then lastly, we have split screen. Okay, so this is pretty neat. Pretty much any video editor can do split screen clips, but most of them don't have presets like these. Most of the time you are stuck doing your own layouts and the math yourself, but it looks like these have already done the heavy lifting for you, which is really good for beginners. To start editing my video, I'm gonna click back to the media tab up top. So. I have a handful of video clips from a hike that we did a few weeks back as a family and I want to do a quick montage highlight reel for that. I'm thinking a title graphic towards the beginning, a handful of clips of us hiking and the scenery around us, and then adding a background track as well. Oh, and maybe using some of those transitions to make it a little bit more dynamic. So the first thing I'm going to do is select the video clips that I want and then pull them into the timeline at the bottom. I only want to make this video about a minute long, so I'll be trimming and cutting the video clips down in order to fit that time frame. But before we do that, let's jump over and click on the audio tab at the very top and find some background music. I'm looking for something that's going to be calm but still have a subtle beat.
I think this one here will do the trick. So let's pull it down into the timeline and start trimming the video clips. Filmora 10 has a couple different ways that you can trim. The easiest one for me is always to use the cut tool. Just line up the red line where you want to cut the video clip at the beginning or the end of it. Click on the scissor icon or even use control B on your keyboard and then it'll cut it in two. And then once you're done, just click on the video piece that you don't want to use and hit the delete button. Now that I have my cuts, let's drop in a couple different transition effects. I'm not going to use any of the graphics, but let's see what these 3D transitions look like. Just double click any of them for a preview. And these are actually pretty nice for being preset transitions. In a lot of professional programs, you might have to purchase some of the transitions that look like these. And then still, when you implement them, they're a little bit harder than what it looks like it would be here, since these can be simply dragged and dropped right onto the timeline. So let's drag in a few more into the timeline and see how they look. By default, it looks like they're setting the transitions to two seconds. So let's see if we can change that. Just double click on the transition and then yes, right up top here, we can change the two seconds over to one second and then hit apply all. And that's pretty much all we have to do. Next on my list is adding that title graphic. So let's click on the titles tab app at the top and see what we can find. It's kind of impressive with how many options that they have here. And if you simply double click on any of them, you can see a preview over to the right. So let's go with this option here. Again, just drag and drop it down to the timeline. And then all we should have to do is double click it to edit the text. And then once you've made your changes, all you have to do is drag the end of the clip in or out if you want to make it shorter or longer. One of the last things that I did want to look at is color correction. Now, I really don't want to make any true changes to the colors in these video clips since I really like the natural colors. But if you double click any of the video clips here, you can change the white balance, tint, contrast, saturation, and the brightness as well. And if you even want to match the colors from one clip to another, Filmora 10 has a new color match option, which allows you to do that with a simple click of a button. And with that, we are done. So it's time to export. Let's click on the big export button right here in the middle, and then click over to setting just to poke around to see what we have as options here. Since this project is already in 4K, it looks like the size of the video export is correct, but you can still adjust things like the frame rate and bit rate if you want to get the exact settings that you want for the video export. I'm just gonna leave these as they are and select the better option, click OK, and then go ahead and click export. I have to say, that was pretty easy. I've used over a half dozen video editing tools over the years, and Wondershare Filmora 10 is definitely one of the most user-friendly options that I've tested. If you want a chance to win a one-year license to Filmora 10, leave a comment below with the hashtag CreateWithFilmora, and let me know what you think of Filmora 10. If you want to give Filmora 10 a try, you can download a free trial version of the software that allows you to use all of the editing tools. You'll just have a watermark when you export your video. But if you find that the software has all the features that you need for your editing process, you can buy a one-year license for $51.99 or also buy a lifetime license to Filmora 10 for $79.99. I have to say, after using Filmora 10 for this project, I'm definitely gonna be recommending this for anyone who's just getting started in video editing or someone who wants a powerful tool and yet doesn't wanna spend the prices that you have to pay for the professional level video editing software that's out there. I wanna thank Wondershare for sponsoring this video for Filmora 10. And if you are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe by hitting the button below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.